Soaking up some sun in Malibu is the perfect alternative to spending your vacation fighting traffic in LA. It's scenic, laid back, and full of incredible things to keep you and your family busy for days. From hiking to surfing and dining on fresh caught seafood, there's no shortage of reasons why you should consider visiting this wonderful coastal town. Join Vucation as we tell you about the best things to do in Malibu. Zuma Beach this is one of the biggest and most popular beaches in LA County. It's known for having vast, sprawling sandy areas and world-class surf. If you plan on going for a swim, be aware the water tends to be a bit cooler than some of the other beaches around Malibu. Zuma Beach offers public restrooms, two concession areas, and eight parking lots capable of accommodating 2,000 vehicles. One of the best features of the beach is that the area is wheelchair accessible and rentals are available for those who have a difficult time getting around. Neptune's Nest this no-frills seafood restaurant has been popular with bikers for years. It can be found on the northwestern side of Malibu, not far from some of the most popular beaches. One side of the establishment serves up fried food and canned and bottled drinks, while the other side offers fresh and live seafood with cocktails and draft beer. Neptune's Nest has been featured in numerous TV shows and films, including Point Break, Gilmore Girls, and The Fast and the Furious. The Grotto Trail if you're up for a hike, this beginner's level 3-mile round-trip trail is highly recommended for its beauty alone. It leads to a cave and waterfall, so bring your camera. If you're interested in a relatively easy hike with a nice little payoff at the end, this is the one for you. Surfrider Beach Taking up about a mile of the California coastline, this beach has some of the best swimming and surfing in Malibu. It was first made popular by the surf films of the 50s and 60s. Since it's part of Malibu's Lagoon State Beach area, there is plenty of wildlife to stop and appreciate. If you're an avid birder, you can see over 200 species of migrating and native birds in the area. Bring your binoculars and make a day of it. You should try to arrive early though, as parking is limited and spaces fill up quickly during the summer months. El Matador State Beach El Matador is one of the most picturesque places in all of LA. It's not the largest beach, but it features gorgeous jutting rock formations. Wear your hiking shoes and try not to bring too much gear with you because there's a little bit of a hike required to get to the beach. But once you're there, spread out your towel and admire the natural beauty. Be advised there are no lifeguards on duty or facilities like bathrooms. But if you're looking for a romantic place to watch a sunrise or sunset with your special someone, this is it. Point Doom State Beach and Preserve if you're looking for the quintessential Malibu beach, this one should be on your list. Point Doom's beautiful expanse of sandy beach, adorned with cliffs, overhangs, and rocky coves, is the perfect place where you can relax and enjoy a day of fun in the sun. It's operated by the County of Los Angeles and offers all the facilities you could want and need. In addition to sunbathing and swimming, it's a great spot to fish, dive, and surf. Between December and April, you might even get a chance to spot a migrating gray whale. There's also a pretty notable hiking trail that takes you on a scenic journey featuring stunning views of the Santa Monica Mountains, Catalina Island, and Santa Monica Bay. At the end of the trail, there's a viewing platform and a few other paths that lead to smaller, more isolated beaches worth exploring. The Getty Villa Established by oil magnate J. Paul Getty in 1974, this museum, which is housed in a faux Malibu villa inspired by the famed Villa dei Papiri ruins of Herculaneum, was subject to a great deal of controversy when it first opened. Getty used the villa originally as his personal home. He housed all his personal holding there, but it was later converted into a full-fledged museum to store antiquities and relics from the Mediterranean that Getty had collected over the years. After being renovated, the villa was reopened in 2000 six to much praise. Over 1,200 pieces are on display, many of which date back to ancient times, covering a wide range of themes from mythological figures to the Trojan War. There are 200 plus rooms at the villa, each numbered and named after its theme. The Getty Villa also houses the University of California's Archaeological and Ethnographic Conservation Program. If you plan to visit, you'll need to secure a ticket in advance, but fortunately, tickets are free. Malibu Pier if you're an avid fisherman, you should definitely pay a visit to Malibu Pier adjacent to Surfrider Beach. This 780-foot-long fishing pier is one of the most popular spots to visit for anglers of all skill levels. But even if fishing isn't your cup of tea, it's also a great place to sit and watch the surfers do their thing. This vibrantly cheerful spot provides ample space for anglers to place their rods and reels. It's also a fantastic location to go watch the sunset, grab some takeout, or pack a picnic and make a date out of it. 
Malibu Divers If you want to get out into the water and make a day out of snorkeling or scuba diving, this company has all the bases covered. They offer diving course and gear rentals while also providing guided diving trips across the reefs and islands of the Malibu area. Charters can even be arranged for diving trips to further away locations. These trips normally include lodging, food, and transportation. Malibu Divers also provides training for rescue divers, free divers, and children. Paradise Cove Beach Cafe this is the only Malibu restaurant that features its very own private beach and cover. Over the years, many filmmakers have been drawn to this spot to film TV and film scenes on location. Come dinner time, jazz music fills the air and fresh lobster is served up fresh with butter and lemon. Some of Paradise Cove Beach Cafe's breakfast offerings include carrot cake waffles, French toast, and double cheese omelets. Malibu Country Mart this shopping center features upscale boutiques, trendy art galleries, several fantastic restaurants, and a handful of spas and salons. But what makes it so noteworthy is its astonishingly beautiful atmosphere. Located at the heart of the Malibu Civic Center, this is the premier place in town to go to treat yourself to a little retail therapy. Make sure you try the fresh-made ice cream at Grom. It's some of the best in LA County. Malibu Creek State Park Featuring more than 7,000 rolling acres of tall grass plains, dramatic mountain peaks, and oak savannas, this state park is considered by many to be the crown jewel of the Santa Monica Mountains. Some have even dubbed it the Yosemite of Southern California. The Rock Pool, which is a must-see, has been featured in numerous TV shows and films, including 1919's Daddy Longlegs and M.A.S.H. The Adamson House Museum this beautiful 1929 Spanish colonial home and estate can be found along the Pacific coast in Malibu Lagoon State Park. Take a guided tour to learn all about the region's history while getting an up-close look at the house. The interior still has many of the same furnishings and adornments that it did back in the 30s. We recommend visiting this attraction during the holidays when the house, gardens, and pier are all decorated with vintage holiday decor. They also offer holiday tours led by experts along with refreshments and festive holiday music. Now it's time to hear from you. Did we miss any of your favorites in Malibu? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.